Hi everyone, you alright? Uh, this guy on the TV here is talking about getting uh, trains to Fleetwood. Yeah, yeah, the area needs it. Um, the major problem is with in that area, uh, Blackpool, Blackpool Fleetwood area. At this moment in time, there it is a problem with Blackpool. Um, to be truthful, right? The major thing is there's a lot of development going on, and they're talking about putting loads and loads of new hotels up. But the major problem is. Blackpool North Railway Station. The major problem with Blackpool North Railway Station is that if rail tra if rail traffic grows a bit slightly more, they're going to have problems. The major problems that they're going to have is is congestion on the line and if they open Fleetwood if they open the Polton to Fleetwood line right like the purport like like what they're proposing to do it would free up some space basically because and it'll start bringing people into the town again uh, which would then trigger a um, regeneration yeah it'll restart a regeneration scheme because the major problem with Blackpool the, the station can get very congested at peak times and Basically, if they get the Fleetwood line up, running and working, right, this could this could be used as a well, Fleetwood could be used as a auxiliary depot because there's only so much room they can have at Blackpool because of the way. The stations located, and they can only hold the yard there can only hold so much. So I think really the um, linking of Portonley Fylde to Fleetwood, bring the line back up, back up, and uh, men build a station, maybe build a depot there so that uh, nor so northern and other operators operate, operators can have somewhere to store their units because it's no good just relying on Preston and Blackburn to uh, do that. Also um that line gets like between Preston and that uh, and Solwick area, and also there could be could be a part to play by the docks Preston docks railway line as well, because. Sometimes you need to have some to put, like say if a train goes down and some of the siding and say if all the siding areas are, are full, where are you going to put them? You know? That's the other thing because Fleetwood. Wants to get the trains running up there. Um, it might give 
the well, the well, there's a docks there. It might even, might even, um, get enough momentum with trains and freight coming in to get the docks redredged again, of which we could, of which could be used as uh, a port. Get the port up and running again as well. Um, maybe extend, as I said, you know, not just go from there. Maybe to try because the railway line used to go down to the to the ferry terminal. Uh, when the Isle of Man Steam Packet Company used to have it, and trains used to come down. Was it lorries? I can't remember. If I remember too right, the trains used to be able to go down there and uh, drop an unload. Yeah, that would be a good idea. You know, if they can get it up as far as the Fleetwood Dock and uh, so that trains could unload containers. Because there's only so much... There's only so much room at Liverpool and there's only so much room at Manchester, you know. So they're going to have to have somewhere, you know, because we import a lot of stuff and sometimes it can, sometimes that area can get pretty congest, congested. And the other thing is, the amount of the amount of heavy goods vehicles that go into Blackpool. There's absolutely loads, with especially with all the construction that's going on. And I know that there are going to be more construction uh, projects in the Blackpool area. And. Yeah, how, you know, how they're going to get the stuff in, you know, because they're talking about building a Holiday Inn at when the World Coast store comes down, you know, and that uh, area where where the World Coast store is gets very, very congested at times. So, you know, and... There are parts of the rail network, especially the other side of Preston, get very con get very uh, congested. It's same with Portland Fowled. You know, there's not m m many gaps between the trains. You know, especially when summer season starts. You know, those trains can get pretty packed. And if they get the Fleetwood line up and running again, it could take some of that pressure off. It'll take some of that. It could take some of that pressure off. And I don't know why Network Rail took the took the points out in the first place. Anyway, you know, um, that's that is something that they sh that uh, the the Minister for the Department of Transport should look at. Why did Network Rail take the points out? And then we wouldn't be in, in this mess. Then they could just basically bring the line back up, back up, into use, straight away, no messing about, you know, no dramas, no, no dramas or anything like that. And uh, it would have been, you know, done Done and dusted. A lot of this problem is due to network rail screw ups. Um, by not leaving the points there, or both lines there, and uh, basically, I really put the put the blame on network rail for that, and. Uh, you know, I think Network Rail should actually pay for it. 
that's what I think. So I will be putting another video up. very shortly about one or two things I, th I think should happen so it's bye for now keep safe three two one click